Hello. My name is Anna, and I am here today to talk to you about a very important topic, the OSHA Hearing Conservation Program. As you may already know, hearing loss is a serious problem that affects millions of people every year. In fact, it is one of the most common work-related injuries in the United States. According to the CDC, approximately 22 million workers in the United States are exposed to hazardous noise levels at work each year. My goal is to provide you with the knowledge and tools you need to protect your hearing and maintain a safe work environment. Let's get started. The OSHA Hearing Conservation Program has several main components that your employer must implement, which includes noise monitoring to identify hazardous noise levels in the workplace, audiometric testing to measure the hearing ability of workers, hearing protection devices such as earplugs and earmuffs to reduce exposure to hazardous noise levels, training and education for workers to understand the risks associated with noise exposure and how to prevent hearing loss. Lastly, records must be maintained by the company and for your review at any time. By following these guidelines, your employer can help ensure you the worker are protected from the harmful effects of noise exposure and maintain a safe and healthy workplace. Before we dive into the specifics of the hearing conservation program, let's first discuss how hearing loss occurs. When we are exposed to noise, sound waves enter the ear and cause the eardrum to vibrate. These vibrations are then transmitted to the inner ear, where tiny hair cells are responsible for converting the vibrations into electrical signals that the brain can interpret as sound. However, when we are exposed to loud or prolonged noise, these hair cells can become damaged and eventually die off. This damage is irreversible and can lead to hearing loss. The effects of noise on hearing can vary depending on the level of noise and the duration of exposure. Some of the most common effects include Temporary hearing loss or tinnitus, which is a ringing or buzzing sound in the ears that can be very distracting and disruptive. Permanent hearing loss, which can range from mild to severe and can make it difficult to hear and communicate with others. Increased stress levels and fatigue, which can lead to other health problems. Difficulty understanding speech in noisy environments, which can impact job performance and social interactions. Reduced quality of life, as hearing loss can affect many aspects of daily living. Exposure to loud or prolonged noise can also increase the risk of accidents and injuries on the job, as it can make it difficult to hear warning signals and communicate effectively with coworkers. It is important that we take the necessary precautions to protect our hearing and prevent these harmful effects from occurring. OSHA has established permissible exposure limits for noise levels in the workplace. These limits are designed to protect you as the worker from the harmful effects of noise exposure. The exposure limit varies depending on the duration of exposure and the frequency of the noise. For example, your exposure limit would be 8 hours if you are exposed to 90 decibels, while the permissible limit for a 2 hours workday is 100 decibels. To ensure that your employer has an accurate understanding of your noise exposure, noise surveys will be conducted periodically throughout the year with the sound trace noise monitors. Hearing protection is an important part of the hearing conservation program. It helps to reduce the amount of noise that enters the ear and protect workers from hearing damage. There are two main types of hearing protection, earplugs and earmuffs. Earplugs are small, foam or rubber devices that are inserted into the ear canal. Earmuffs are cups that cover the ears and are held in place by a headband. Both types of hearing protection can be effective at reducing noise levels, but the choice of which to use depends on the individual worker and the work environment. Your employer will help you determine when and where you must wear hearing protection devices. Audiometric testing is an important component of the hearing conservation program. It involves measuring a worker's hearing ability using an audiometer, a device that produces sounds at different frequencies and volumes. Audiometric testing is important for several reasons. It provides a baseline for a worker's hearing ability when they begin working in a noisy environment. This baseline can be used to monitor changes in hearing over time and detect early signs of hearing loss. It can identify workers who may be at greater risk of hearing loss due to noise exposure. It helps to ensure that hearing protection is effective. By testing a worker's hearing before and after they begin using hearing protection, we can ensure that the protection is adequate and that it is being used properly. By conducting regular audiometric testing and taking appropriate action based on the results, we can help to prevent hearing loss and ensure the long-term hearing health of our employees. As an employer, it is our responsibility to create a safe and healthy workplace for our employees. 
This includes implementing a hearing conservation program for any employees that are exposed to 85 decibels or more on an 8-HOUR time-weighted average. As an employee, it is your responsibility to wear hearing protection when working in hazardous areas, notify your employer of any hearing issues, and taking this training on hearing conservation seriously. Employers and employees must work together to prevent hearing loss and ensure the hearing conservation program is successful. As we have learned today, exposure to high levels of noise can cause permanent damage to our hearing. Hearing loss is 100% preventable with proper protection in place. Thank you for taking the time to learn about hearing conservation today. Let's get out there and work together to create a safer and healthier workplace for all.